Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, really interested to know how you guys solved today's problem. I'm gonna quickly go through part A and B and then really focus in on our representation with C and how we can check over our work to make sure we get accurate answers. So part A, I'm showing that those three squares which represent the 300. Here's my expanded notation, five lines, 50, and my two ones. My equation, I knew again, there's that keyword gives. I know my action's going to be subtraction. I have my total, I'm subtracting a part. I'm going to be left with a part that has to be smaller than my total. Let's really spend some time going through these strategies. So like yesterday's strategy, I decomposed my two numbers into the hundreds, tens, and the ones. And I took away my hundreds, and I took away my tens, and I took away my ones. So let's look at that. So 300 minus 100 is 200. Then 50 minus my 20 is 30. Now I want us to really look at this. Always, always starting with that bigger number when I'm subtracting. But two minus five, if I have two of something, can I take five away? I can only take two away. So I switched this and I said, okay, well, five is my bigger number. So I'm going to start with my five, one, two, three, four, five, and I can take two away from there. And I'm left with three. I want us to really think about this because I, I've been noticing this in some exit tickets and I want to really talk about it. So then I took all my answers. I said 200 plus 30 plus three is 233. Now, great mathematicians never stop at just one representation, they always double check their work by doing a different strategy. So here I decided to use a number line and I started at 125 and I jumped up to my 352. I didn't add these numbers together because I'm not trying to get a bigger number, but I started at 125 and I jumped until I stopped at 352, finding the answer in the middle. So I made a big jump of 100, and that got me to 225. I jumped another 100, that got me to 325. Then I jumped 20 to get to 345. I jumped a five to get to my friendly number of 350. And then I jumped a two, that got me to 352. I added up all the numbers in the middle, and I found that I got 227. That's a different answer than my first try. I used a different strategy. I added up instead of taking away. When I get two different answers, I know one has to be incorrect. So I went on to a third way. And I did this and I started at my 352. I decided to keep 352 whole. I decided not to break 352 up. And I took away, but I did decompose my other number, my smaller number. So I did 352 minus 100, and that got me to 252. 252 minus the 20, that got me to 232. Then 232 minus 5, and that got me to 227. So I checked and I saw that 227 is definitely my answer. 220, oh, goodness. 227 stickers is my answer, but I wanna go back and find out why. Why didn't this work? And I'm wondering if you guys can already think about that. Yesterday, when we decomposed the two numbers into hundreds, tens, and ones, and we took away the hundreds together, then we took away the tens and the ones, we were able to make that work because all the numbers in that bigger number were bigger. The three, here, if I even look back, I have my two, my 100s, seven is bigger, 70 is bigger than 10, six is bigger than five. So whenever I was taking those away, the smaller number, it was able to match. Today though, 300 is bigger than 100, that worked, and 50 is greater than 20. But here, two is not bigger than five. And if I took that away, I would end up in negative territory. And then I'd have to add that number back in but that isn't 
what's going to make this work. I couldn't swap it around. I decided to say, oh, I'll just move this five over. And you can't do that. You have to stick with those bigger numbers. You have to keep that all together. You can't just move them around. So when you are dealing with subtraction, keeping that bigger number whole is definitely a great trick. Otherwise, you might end up in some negative territory. Um, and that is something we're going to continue to sort of explore how you would need to add those numbers back in. But always, always two strategies and then triple check your work if you're getting numbers that don't match up. So here are my strategies I took away, started with the big number and took away, or I counted up. Those are my two different ways that I was able to subtract and also add up to, and I was able to get that same answer.